and welcome to our program preview series. Each week we'll be highlighting one of our seven focus programs to learn how they offer you more in just four years. My name is Riley Little and I'll be your host for today. This week we'll be highlighting our Community Social Services program and these are the top five takeaways that you need to know. Students earn both an Honours Bachelor of Applied Science in Community Social Services from the University of Guelph and a Social Service Worker Diploma from Humber College concurrently within four years of full-time study. You'll take courses relating to counselling, social work and family dynamics. In our experiential learning lab, you'll actually get to put your counselling skills to use with our one-way mirror and recording devices. Additionally, in this program, you have two optional areas of emphasis to choose from, either in mental health and addictions or in youth and families. Now, what sets this program apart from others in the field is the experiential learning. You'll do more than 850 hours of workplace experience guaranteed in this program. Additionally, when you graduate, because of that social service worker diploma, you'll be able to register with the Ontario College of Social Workers and Social Service Workers to to get started working in the field right away. To tell us more about the Community Social Services Program, I'm joined by Program Head Dr. Paul Sherman and Assistant Program Head Olivia Bukidas. Olivia is actually a graduate from our Community Social Services program and is currently pursuing her PhD at the University of Lancaster in Education and Social Justice. Thank you both for being here today. Paul, we'll start with you. Could you tell us a little bit more about the Community Social Services program and what it's all about? So the Community Social Services program is designed for students uh, who want to help individuals and families and communities to resolve uh, various personal and interpersonal challenges in their lives. The program focuses on building skills that can generalize to all social service settings. Uh, and we offer an empowerment-centered perspective with a strong commitment to social justice and human rights. Uh, students who ha uh, have chosen this program indicate a desire for careers uh, and or graduate level study in the areas of social work, family therapy, community development, counseling, family law, mediation, and agency administration, just to name a few. Our program offers an ideal blending of theory and experiential learning to provide students the necessary background to enter the workforce uh, in the social services sector or for admission to graduate and professional programs of study. And what we intend for uh, students to come out of the program with are the following uh, skills and knowledge. The first is critical and creative thinking skills. The second is communication and literacy skills. The third uh, learning in this program will help students to become a better um, or more effective generalist social service practitioner, meaning they can work with all different types of populations with diverse issues. And then lastly, we uh, help students to gain an understanding of uh, how local and global social issues intersect and how these might be applied in practice to improving the well-being of individuals and families and communities. Uh, students also learn about the importance of advocating for and promoting various forms of social justice and human rights for diverse populations and communities. Thanks very much, Paul. Olivia, would you be able to tell us a little bit about the courses that students can expect throughout their four years here? In first and second year, students can certainly expect to explore or take a more foundational sequence um, in terms of the courses that they're taking as a way to provide more of a contextual foundation and looking more at larger, more broad theoretical components that really help students to form the foundation of the field and really understand the fundamentals of the field as something they can build on as they progress throughout the CSS program. So, you know, to, to name a few and first year students will take a course called a uh, social work in Canada, where students not only are introduced to the history of the profession and the ways in which it's involved into the field that it is, certainly in a Canadian context, but also to exploring and understanding the fundamentals of the field. So by that, I mean the values, the principles that really are inherent to, to the work that um, social service workers and social workers do, um, and also to exploring various theoretical practice approaches um, that are really at the core of the helping profession. 
Um, in addition to that, they take a course called Issues in Advocacy, which is one of my personal favorites, which is where students are introduced to, to broader social issues, historically and contemporary, and really exploring the deep-seated connection between the, the human services and these broader social issues. So, you know, things like discrimination, decolonization, immigration, aging, mental health, and really taking a look and exploring the, the important relationship between the human services and social justice and human rights and what it means to promote social justice and incorporate human rights into practice. And, you know, in taking these more foundational contextual courses um, in first and second year, what happens is students really start to learn the language of the field and learn the language of these concepts that they're able to apply more specifically um, in more direct practice focused courses that they take in more in a clinical sequence, which they can expect in, in year three and four. So by that, I mean, they can apply these broader concepts to, you know, um, the older adult population or mental health and addiction, um, uh, um, social work and the law, family mediation and conf conflict resolution. So in that sense, students are able to build on this foundation of what they learn in, in first and second year. I know a lot of our students are very involved in opportunities both in and outside of the classroom. I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about the hands-on opportunities available to students in the Community Social Services Program. We have so many different uh, hands-on opportunities. Uh, we also refer to them as experiential learning. And the reason we refer to it that way is because this is learning by doing instead of simply learning by taking in uh, information or knowledge. It's actually applying that knowledge. So we have a lot of opportunities and I'm going to run through them all because there's just something for everybody. Some of these are mandatory and some of them are optional. We have a number of courses where there is a lab component. These are especially our clinical courses, meaning that students are learning skills in counseling. So uh, for example, the interpersonal communication uh, course or the uh, the group work or both of our counseling courses uh, have clinical practice labs. And this is where students do role playing of their clinical skills uh, with their peers and under the supervision of uh, the uh, uh, professor. And so learning uh, through the practice and role playing of delivering counseling skills, learning how to be a counselor. And this is in fourth year, students will carry, uh, develop and carry out a charity fundraising initiative. Um, and it's actually, they develop the initiative and they actually go out and do the fundraising for a nonprofit um, charity in the community. And so that way they're actually learning about uh, fundraising, which is an important element of uh, the work in social services. They're learning about it by actually doing it. The premier uh, experiential learning aspect of our program is our uh, practicums, our field placements. And we're quite unique at, in the CSS program. Students take um, uh, many practicums. Currently, they take uh, practicums in their second, third, and fourth year, uh, which is a considerable amount of time to spend in learning the trade, learning how to do uh, social service work. So, this is uh, the number one aspect. This is the most popular aspect of our program. Uh, and then we get to optional type activities, um, which many of our students participate in. So we have clubs, student clubs and societies. For example, we have a, a CSS model, United Nations, and uh, we also have a CSS society. Uh, we also have study abroad. Guelph Humber offers trips to um, at least 15 to 16 different destinations all over the world. And so these are short-term, two-week trips where you learn about uh, diverse cultures. So, for example, uh, Sweden, Italy, uh, New Zealand. Uh, I take students to Japan. Um, the students can go all over the world, so it's a great opportunity. We also have paid research assistant opportunities. Um, and so students have the opportunity to gain research experience under the supervision of professors conducting research projects. We have paid work study projects, and this gives students the opportunity to work alongside faculty and staff. Uh, for example, we have an annual uh, program symposium, and uh, Olivia actually, uh, the assistant program head, actually coordinates that 
uh, but it's student run. And so we hire students to organize and run that uh, symposium. Now, this is a question for Olivia. As a graduate of the Community Social Services Program, I'm wondering if you can tell us what type of student is best suited for the Community Social Services Program and in general, this field of study. Students who are suited for the Community Social Services Program are those who have a genuine and keen interest in working with people, helping individuals, families, communities um, overcome various personal and, and social challenges. And so in order to, to achieve that, um, students should have good interpersonal uh, communication skills, a well-developed sense of empathy and compassion, an open-minded uh, worldview um, that is open for you know, growth and self-reflection and reflexive learning, which really is a key component to, to the helping profession. Um, and of course, to understand uh, the value of diversity in all forms. And so our students uh, really appreciate the value of in terms of having these skills um, and having these approaches and attitudes um, as they understand how, how central it is to, to the helping profession. And Olivia, continuing on in this same vein, I'm wondering if you can tell us uh, some advice that you may have for prospective students looking to enter into our program. It really is to spend some time researching, exploring, uh, and looking into social issues that, that intrigue them and are um, of interest to them, whether that be mental health, whether that be poverty, whether that be immigration or the aging population. For students or prospective students to develop a sense of the field and issues relevant to the field, it can be a really useful uh, foundation in terms of student learning. Uh, we also encourage that if, if Prospective students haven't already uh, to do volunteer work in a community not-for-profit um, organization just to get a general sense of the field um, as well as its demands because once again it's it's a good opportunity and provides a good preliminary foundation uh, for prospective students once they enter into the program and can really hit the ground running with with areas they they'd like to pursue and work um, and work they would like to pursue. One final question for you. Why should students be considering the University of Guelph Humber's Community Social Services Program? Uh, I have five actual uh, reasons, the top five reasons why students should come to Guelph Humber and in particular the CSS program. The first is that uh, Guelph Humber is a very friendly environment. Most of our classes are relatively small. And when I mean small, I mean 40 to 50 students on average. Uh, even our, our seminars and labs are even smaller than that, 12 to 20 students. So why is that important? Well, there are uh, greater opportunities for interaction with professors and peers when the class sizes are that small. Uh, the second reason why GH, uh, our teaching and learning approach gives an opportunity to integrate both theoretical knowledge with practical skills. Now, this is a very effective way to learn and to maintain skills. Uh, the third reason is uh, there, as I've mentioned before, there's a significant amount of field placement hours. And why this is important is that it builds confidence to work as a social service worker in a di diverse number of jobs. You've heard the expression hit the ground running. Well, many of our students can do just that because they have so many hours of work experience already. Uh, through their field placements. Number four is uh, they learn, our students learn from professional uh, practitioners in the social services field. Most of our faculty are experienced social workers. And lastly, uh, students graduate with two credentials, a social service diploma and a community social services degree, uh, which are both highly useful for starting your career as a social service worker or furthering your education in postgraduate studies. And I'm not sure, Olivia, if you had anything to add to that. Something I can I can say just largely from, from my experience um, as a as a CSS alumni um, is the experience of being at Guelph Humber, just again, because of the nature of the class sizes, the nature of the institution, um, certainly, but also to the fact that um, when you come to class, you get to know your peers quite well. And of course, you get to know your instructors quite well. So you're, you're actually networking just by coming to class. And so those types of relationships can be tremendously valuable even long after you leave um, the University of Guelph Humber. Um, the field is large, but the field is small in many respects. So the fact that you're 
able to learn alongside peers who will eventually become your colleagues and you find colleagues in your professors as well um, is something that, at least in my experience, really gave me the confidence and formed the foundation of, of my career. So um, in my view, it's, it's the best choice. That brings us to the end of our first day highlighting the Community Social Services Program. Thank you all so much for being here. A special thank you to Paul and Olivia for your time today. We really appreciate it. Audiences at home, make sure you stay tuned for more events highlighting the Community Social Services Program this week.